All right, here with Coach Mark Elliott, wrapping up a successful day two at the NCAA East prelims. Uh, Coach, you got five athletes through. Starting out with your sprinters, Maya Jacobs, Tevin Hester looked strong early on. Well, you know, it's it's almost the way Tevin came in. You could say with him, it was just more of a you know keep keep being consistent and get into the national championship. Uh, the final round, Maya, that's the reason why you have regional championship first round. You know, it's a it's one of those things you got to be ready on the day to go, and she was today, so it's good for our team. You know, Sabria, who was one of those person who I think had a great season compared to last year, didn't have a chance to advance. But when you have a good team, one person didn't get a chance to go, the next one advanced. You know. yeah, shortly after them, Natoya Gold took the track. Looked like a pretty easy 203. She wasn't challenged. She earns a bid to Eugene. First time in a couple of years for her after sitting out a year. Yeah, well, you know, like you say, she's, I'll compare her or to Tevin. It was more of getting through the rounds and uh, get to the championship. Our hope, to be honest with you, was to run pretty fast today, but the, the weather kind of changed as it relates to the wind, so we just did what it takes to get to the to the next round. So, you know, I'm sure at the national championship, she has to run really well to kind of defend that title she had two years ago. Torian Ware only had to clear two bars. He did that both on first attempts, and he moves on to Eugene. Second straight year, he's qualified for NCAA Outdoors. Talk about his consistency. He's just kind of been that model guy on your men's team. Right. He's, uh, I mean, he's a consummate, I would say, student athlete, you know, graduated and been consistent since I came to Clemson as a coach. I always show up when it counts, and, uh, you know, he won the conference championship finally instead of second place, and now he has a chance of moving on to, uh, to the final rounds, and uh, let's see what he does in his last collegiate competition. Your fifth and final qualifier of the uh, day was Samantha Elliott. She had an earlier 100-meter hurdle first round, and then she came back about two hours later, qualified in the 400 hurdles, had a season best, looked really smooth out there for you. Yeah, well, you know, Samantha, all you, indoors and outdoors, been very consistent for us. And she steps up at the competition. She knows what it takes to get to the next round, you know, and running her season best, close to her personal best. You know, Coach, uh, Coach AT does a great job with her and, uh, you know, look forward last, looking at all the, the results, it took about 57 flight to make the final in the final round, so she's looking good there if she can repeat her performance. Well, what are you looking for your team as you finish out the meet on Saturday? Well, you know, it's to, we have a few more, you know, Tevin and the two, we got four by four men and women. We just, it's a matter of just qualifying for the next round and get as much as we can to uh, give us a better shot for our team goal at the end of two weeks. Right, thank you, Coach. All right, with Samantha Elliott, uh, fresh off your birth to Eugene and the NCAA Championships, that's kind of like the promised land for collegiate track and field athletes. Describe your emotions right now. Um, I'm feeling overjoyed right now. I'm really, I was really anxious coming to the competition and just to know that my performance has gotten better and better. I keep getting to see the best, like I couldn't add to anything more, honestly. You had a very busy day starting off in the qualifying round of the 100 hurdles. You moved on, we'll compete again Saturday in that, but then come back and get your Clemson best 56-46 in the 400 hurdles to qualify for Eugene. What did that mean to you? Um, it means the world right now. Being in um, track and field, like my career goals is to keep improving. As I, every time I go out on the track, just keep improving, and that's what I did today. So I'm excited to go to Eugene and just to show my best and show all my competitors that I'm just as good as them. You had one postgraduate season to do here at Clemson. Uh, now that you're nearing the end of that, you've made both NCAA championships this year. Describe what 2015 has meant to you personally. Uh, it's been great. Honestly, coming here to Clemson, to be able to be a part of such a wonderful team with Coach Elliott, like everybody's so motivating. And I know they're really happy that I'll be joining them to go to Eugene next week. All right, what's it going to what's it gonna take Saturday to get into the uh, 100 hurdles and do the double in Eugene? It's going to take a personal base, um, my effort, I have to be focused, determined, and my preparation so far has been great, so it's just to execute. And I know I'll be successful with that one. Thank you, Sam.